So now the situation was very grave and uh, Vasudev was a very intelligent person. So Vasudev was thinking what to do now and started pleading, my dear brother-in-law, Kamsa, you are a king, you are a great person. You should not do this heinous activity of killing your own sister. Please leave her, please leave her. And Kamsa said, hey, just get lost. She is going to be the cause of my death. I want to kill her immediately. But Vasudev was pleading. So Vasudev, actually if you read the Bhagavata Purana, it is very beautifully explained that Vasudev tries to preach to Kamsa by giving a lot of philosophy. So Vasudev in fact tells Kamsa that we are not this body, we are the spirit soul and soul does not die and he gives so many things, so many wonderful information but nothing changes Kamsa's heart. Finally, Vasudev tells Kamsa, oh dear brother-in-law Kamsa, please give me one option, one opportunity and what is that? Every child born to Devaki, I will personally take that child and hand over to you and whatever you want, you do it with the child. This is my promise. And as soon as Kamsa hears this promise from Vasudev, immediately he says okay for that. And Vasudev also tells Kamsa that, my dear brother-in-law, you are doing something very bad because there are three reasons why you should not kill Devaki. So, that is why it is very important that one has to be a person of wisdom, maturity. Because in that traumatic situation, difficult situation, in that pressure, Vasudev was able to analyze the situation and give the reasons. So, Vasudev tells there are three reasons why you should not kill Devaki. What are the three reasons? Number one, Devaki is a woman. So, as per the rule of Kshatriya, the law book, a Kshatriya should never torture or harm a woman. So, you are going against the law of Kshatriya and you claim yourself to be the king of Mathura, a strong and powerful Kshatriya and how can you kill a helpless woman? First reason. And second reason, yes, she is a woman. On top of that, she is your own sister. How can you kill your sister? Kamsa was taken aback and Vasudev gives the third reason. She is a woman, she is your sister and she is just married. Even if you want to kill, you do not kill a person when just they, are got, they have got married. The Mangal Sutra is tight, they are coming out and immediately you want to kill the uh, person. That is also not correct. So, even these things also does not touch uh, Kamsa. But when Vasudev promises that every child born, I will be personally coming and handing over to you. So, this promise... Kamsa liked it and accepted it. Now, the question may come to all of us that why Kamsa, even though he was such a demoniac person, a kind of Rakshasa, but still as soon as Vasudeva said, I will promise you that I will give all the child, immediately Kamsa accepted. How such a demonic person could accept that promise? So, this shows that whatever philosophy in our life, philosophy will not work analysis will not work, logic will not work and what works is character. So, character is so important that Vasudeva, Vasudeva was a man of character, a man of substance because the whole world knew if Vasudeva says something, he will do it and it was Kamsa who was a demoniac person, he believed Vasudeva because Vasudeva was a man of character. Very important lesson we can learn from Vasudeva is that we all should aspire to be a person of character. Person of character means we speak something and we do that. It is not that we speak something and we do something else and we do something else, we speak something else. No, that is why I say first vichar, then achar, then prachar. So, whatever we speak, when we do that, it affects people. It actually transforms, it helps to transform people's heart. That is the point here. So, Kamsa trusted Vasudev because Vasudev was a man of character. So, after this, so Kamsa put this Vasudeva and Devaki in the jail. So, Vasudeva and Devaki were in the jail and the first child was born. So, uh, Kamsa had told all the 
security guards that as soon as a child is born immediately inform me i will personally come and kill the child because he didn't want to trust anybody else in the world so when the child was born uh, vasudeva goes to kamsa and he says my dear brother in law as per my promise i am giving the child back to you and kamsa was touched by the act of vasudev and kamsa actually tells vasudev that take the child i don't want to kill the child vasudev was confused you said every child you want to kill now you are saying you don't want to kill so then kamsa gives the logic the akashavani said that eighth child born to devaki will kill me not the first child so you take back the first child no problem because you are a man of character you will keep up your promise so you take back i am forgiving the first child first seven children i will not do anything so then vasudev became very happy internally but he knew we cannot trust demons we cannot trust people who are demoniac nature so vasudev with lot of confusion he was going back at that time comes another interesting person and that is narayana narayana narada so narada muni comes immediately appears in front of kamsa and narada muni tells kamsa oh great king kamsa congratulations and i heard the entire story about akashavani everything and i also observed that you forgave the first child why and kamsa tells because eighth child is going to kill me not the first child and narada muni tells you fool don't believe the words of devatas these devatas are very intelligent sharp people now they said eighth child and you are forgiving the first child and what is the calculation is it the count from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or 8 7 6 5 8? like that if you count from top to bottom or bottom to top if you count from bottom to in a descending order the first child becomes the eighth child so first child can also kill you so be very careful and do the needful and narad muni disappears saying narayana narayana 